In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your Trustpilot reviews in a fast and responsive feed like this on your Elementor website. To do that, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. To get started, visit smashballoon.com. And once you've made your purchase, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Next, to install Reviews Feed Pro, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. After that, click Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro. Then click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our Trustpilot Reviews Feed, we'll first have to activate the license key for the plugin. To do that, on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Click on that. And over here, we can go ahead and paste our license key from our Smash Balloon account, just like this, and click Activate. Now we can begin creating our Trustpilot Reviews Feed. To get started, click Add New. And for the first step, we'll have to add a source. Click Add Source. And over here, we can see all the different source types we can use with the plugin. With Reviews Feed Pro, you can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and WordPress.org. For this video, we're going to embed reviews from Trustpilot. So we can select it like this, then click Next. And for the second step of adding our source, we'll have to paste the URL for the Trustpilot page we want to display inside the feed. For this demonstration, I've got this business here, Canvas Factory. They've got over 5,000 reviews on Trustpilot. To add this as a source, simply go ahead and copy the URL for this page. Then back inside the plugin, you can paste it here like this and click Finish. Now you can see that page added as a source inside the plugin. It's already selected for us, so we can click Next. And for the final step of creating our Trustpilot Reviews feed, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, single review, and more below. For this video, let's go with the masonry template. I can select it like this and click Next. And instantly, we have a beautiful preview of our new Trustpilot Reviews feed. The feed is currently displaying all the latest reviews from the page we added as a source. And at the top of the feed, you'll find the average star rating and the total number of reviews as well. And on the right hand side, we also have a write a review button. Once clicked, we'll take you directly to that Trustpilot page. And each review inside the feed features the author, when that review was posted, the star rating, and the review text as well. This feed is now ready to be embedded inside our WordPress web page. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize the feed. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside this menu, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your reviews feed. At the top, we have three different layouts we can select from. Currently, we have the masonry layout selected, which displays your reviews in rows and columns. At the top, we have the list layout, which displays your reviews in a single column list. And lastly, we have a carousel layout, which displays your reviews in a swipeable carousel like this. For this video, I'm going to go with the masonry layout. And if you look below, you can also specify how many reviews you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile. To modify this, just enter the number of reviews you want to display inside the feed. Currently, we're displaying six reviews, as you can see in the preview on the right-hand side. But if I wanted to change that to four, I can just type it in like this. And inside the live preview, you can now see that we're displaying four reviews instead of six. I'm going to change that back to six. Underneath that, you can also choose how many columns you want inside the feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we have three columns. You can modify it by entering the number of columns you want to display. For example, two columns. And once again, we can see that change made instantly inside the live preview. I'm going to change that back to three. And if you're happy with the layout of your reviews feed, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header at the top of your reviews feed, under the Customize tab, go into Header. Inside, you can see all the different elements inside the header, such as the heading, the review button, and the average review rating. Each of these elements can be customized to suit the exact look you want for your feed. If I wanted to hide any of the elements, you can simply uncheck it like this, and that element will now be hidden. For example, I've hidden the heading at the top of the feed, and that's now disappeared. And if I wanted to bring it back, I can simply recheck it like this. And you can do the exact same for the button and the average review rating as well. And if you wanted to disable the header entirely, you can just toggle it off at the top here. Now the header has completely disappeared from our feed. I'm going to bring that back. If you made any changes, don't forget to click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to customize how the individual reviews are displayed inside your feed, under the customize tab once again, go into reviews. Next, go into edit individual elements. Inside this menu, you can see all the different elements inside each review, such as the author and date, the rating, review paragraph, and images or videos if they're available. And just like the heading, all of these elements can be customized. For example, let me show you how we can hide the author and date. To do that, just go and uncheck it like this, and the author and date will now be hidden from the reviews. And if I want to bring it back, I can just recheck it like this. And you can see that the author and date is now back, but instead of being at the top of the review, it's now at the bottom. This just demonstrates how you have control over how the elements are stacked inside each review. Right now, the author and date is at the bottom, but if I want to move that back to the top, I can click and drag it to the top like this. And now you can see that it's back in its place at the top of the review. You can do the exact same thing with all the different elements as well. For example, if I wanted to move the rating to the bottom, I can click and drag it to the bottom like this. And now the star rating is at the bottom of each review. With these settings, you can customize your reviews feed to look exactly how you want to. I'm going to move the rating back under authoring date. 
and once that's done, if you've made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to pick and choose which reviews you display inside the feed, go into the settings tab and click on moderation. Next, if we enable this, you have two ways to select the reviews you display inside the feed. First way is with the allow list. All your reviews will be hidden by default apart from the ones you manually choose to display inside the feed like this. Alternatively, with the block list, all your reviews will be displayed by default apart from the ones you manually choose to hide like this. And if you made any changes, click save and exit. But for now, I'm going to disable this. If I go back into settings and click on filters, this menu gives you options to filter the reviews you display inside the feed. At the top, you can filter your reviews based on star rating. For example, if I wanted to only display reviews that contain five stars, I can click it like this. And now our feed will only display reviews that contain five stars. Underneath that, you can also add words as filters so that your feed only displays or hides reviews containing those words. Lastly, at the bottom, you can also sort your reviews based on character count with the minimum and maximum character count. This lets you decide if you want to display short, bite-sized reviews or longer in-depth ones on your feed. With these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over the reviews you display inside your feed. And if you've added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that I've shown you how to create and customize your Trustpilot reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside Elementor. To do that, click on embed on the top right corner, copy the dedicated shortcode for your feed and click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now inside your page, click edit with Elementor. And here we are now inside our Elementor web page. We can embed our new Trustpilot reviews feed in this area of the page. To embed our feed inside Elementor, we first have to add a shortcode widget. On the left hand side, we can search for shortcode. That's this one here. We can drag it and place it over here. Next, inside the box on the left hand side, we can paste the shortcode we copied earlier. And instantly, we can see a preview of our new feed inside Elementor. Let's publish the page and check out what it looks like on the live website. Here we are inside our Elementor web page and right in the middle is our brand new Trustpilot reviews feed. It looks just as good as the preview we saw inside the plugin. The feed features the header at the top, featuring the average star rating and total number of reviews, a writer review button on the right hand side, and each review also contains the author and date, the star rating and the review text as well. On the top right hand corner of each review, you can also see a Trustpilot logo indicating that the review is from Trustpilot. At the bottom of the feed, you also have a load more button. If I click on that, that will load even more Trustpilot reviews directly on your Elementor webpage inside the feed. And at the top, if you click on the Write a Review button, that takes us directly to that Trustpilot page. This makes it super convenient for your site visitors to leave reviews for you on Trustpilot directly from your Elementor page. And that's how we can create, customize, and embed a Trustpilot reviews feed like this on Elementor. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.